Okay. This is it. The Big Kahuna. This here is a Philco Tropic from 1946. Uh, I haven't done a great deal of study on this as a prerequisite. So bear with me if I uh, fumble my way through most of this intro. Um, I think it's time for this one here to take center stage. I'm going to try to do it right. Do it good. It appears to have a broadcast. Shortwave 1, shortwave 2, shortwave 3, phono input. It has a band spread on it of 31 meters, 25 meters. Looks like 19 meters, 16 meters, and 13 meters? <laughs> it goes all the way up to dear near 22 megahertz. So, the all the knobs are there thank god um off on and the tone the volume normal tuning and i believe it's got dual uh dual vernier tuning uh, fast and intermediate the band selector and this is for the spread tuning it doesn't appear to be moving anything there normal tuning doesn't appear to be doing anything either so we got a little work to, to take care of there um, let's take a look at the bottom of the cabinet see if there's any you know, they got the typical Philco little doobie dibbers in a thingy that wear down I think those were like little felt pads with a brass ring and they're wore down so it's gonna get new feet anyway um, it's got I don't know a hardwood framework within a standard um, block uh, cabinet that's veneered so I'm assuming the all the interior portions of the front face is hardwood this looks to be a little burlish this here I'm not really sure it might be walnut uh, but won't matter it looks yeah it looks like it could be some walnut uh, it appears to have a real dark I don't know uh, finish on it it kind of looks a little bit like it could be a faux finish for that matter a little here uh, it has a back um, a rather plain Jane one but it's there and it seems to be all intact sorry for the glaring uh, the sun is peaked out now let's uh, take and get the uh, let's take and get the uh, give me a minute to get the back off of it and we'll do a further inspection all right got the back off um, the tube count is 10 um, Yeah, the uh, the dial string has been is all broken up. Uh, they uh, bagged up uh, a lot of the uh, I guess loose broken stuff, the springs, I hope, um, in here uh, for the for the dial string. So it looks like it's going to get new dial string. Uh, look at the size of that field coil. Wow. <laughs> God. Mm. That's a biggie. And that, uh, I'm not sure, that might be about a 10 inch speaker maybe. Might be 8 inch. 
I don't have a rule on me right now and like I say I didn't do any homework on this thing uh, initially uh, I did download some of its uh, data on its uh, I think uh, some information uh, from uh, either writers or uh, photo a uh, photo of Sam's photo photo feed that's all folks so uh, yeah there's a lamp for each of the settings there's a lamp for each of these settings uh, uh, they sure went to town on on this one it's got a uh, a terminal uh, hookup for uh, phono input and it's got an external antenna and an, and a ground uh, there's a three stage or a three gang um, tuner section all the adjustments for the various bands some more here I'm not sure what this is but I'll find out this here will operate on either 115 or 230 um, so it's I guess it's for, this was built for export um, we got three adjustments here on this can two on that can there looks to be like a interstage transformer or a choke or something um, one shielded tube um, I'm not sure what that one. That might be the third uh, for the IF uh, tuning. So uh, let me uh, pull the knob. I didn't notice that. That's another adjustment. Uh, let me pull the knobs off of it. Pop the screws out of the bottom of the chassis. And uh, we'll extract the chassis out and take a look. Stand by. Okay, we've got the chassis extracted. There doesn't appear to be any skid marks on the bottom of the uh, cabinet. So that's a good sign. Uh, stickers are still intact. We'll probably wind, well, let's see. I think we can protect those. We'll get some base scans of these so we can reproduce them if needed. Um, 46888 Philco. Tropic. Um, it's got quite a complement of tubes. What kind of a what kind of a rectum fire does it have? An 80 tube. Got a couple of 76s in there. Got some Loctols. <laughs> yeah, a few 76, three of them. Um, and looks like a 7J7 so uh, yeah uh, the speaker cone looks like it's in real good shape hot cha 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 um, here is the chassis extracted uh, looks to be in real good condition just dirty um, this ought to clean up real nice and spiffy uh, doesn't look like there was any mouses in the houses uh, yeah uh, how convenient they stamped the um, adjust adjustment uh, points on for the uh, for for the trimmers Oh, well, not all of them, but some. Uh, those must be for the band spreads. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. Uh, here is the... Here is the coup de gras. 
the coop the grass. Boy, this 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 is one heavy doggone radio, I'll tell ya. Let me see if I can get this to a point where we can turn it over without too much problem. Wow. Wow, wow. Uh, I'm not sure, but I would think that uh, we might be able to accomplish a good cleaning inside the chassis on this one. Um, it looks to be like the, every every uh, switch layer is accessible to my pipe cleaners and cleaning solutions. Um, let's see, uh, we've got an E cap here and an E cap. Eh, there, there's one. There, there's one down there, and there's one right there. And I thought that I seen three, four. No, those are. So this is unmodified. It has its its original condition. Hot cha cha cha. Yeah, but dabba do. Looks like something. Might have been a little hungry. Looks like there was a little something there, too. But how in the hell did they get in there? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Well, there may be some information in the future working its way towards us so anyway this looks pretty good candidate for refurbishment remember what i said about the pots on on the uh, for the filcos i mean look at the size of that sucker this one here that i think this one here, I think it might be for the uh, for the uh, the power uh, input the AC voltage switch. Uh, so they did a pretty nice job on this. So we're going to get this thing um, checked out here uh, tomorrow. It's uh, probably about 5.30 or nearing 6 in the evening. It is Sunday, the 31st of Jewel. And we got storm clouds surrounding us. They're circling up the wagons. So uh, in the next uh, couple of days, there'll be another video for the checkout on this radio. We'll see whether or not we can do a smoke test on it and see if we get any kind of a response out of it. So stay tuned. We will be doing a lot on this one. <laughs>